Hey, happy holidays, everybody. Today, I want to chat about three reasons why your thoughts are impossible to control. So if you're anything like me, you know, we're always told like, it's important to change your thoughts, change your life. But a lot of times I feel like I don't know where my thoughts are coming from. They're kind of crazy sometimes and I don't know about that. So hey, if you don't know me or if we've never met before, my name is Mary Shores. I am the Hay House author of Conscious Communications, your step-by-step -step guide to harnessing the power of your words to change your mind, your choices, and your life. So also, this book, Conscious Communications, hit number one on Amazon back in October, and the first print run sold out within a month. So, of course, they've got them back in stock. We're very excited about that. But hey, like today, let's ch chat about thoughts. So one of the topics that I love to talk about is creating your reality because the reason I believe you can change your mind, your choices, and your thoughts with just your words is because that is really backed by science. And this book is at this special place where science and spirituality meet. It's like they're at this crossroads where everybody is talking about the same thing, but they're using two different languages. So hey, everybody, if you can hear me, get shout me out with the wow face let me know that you can hear me and also um let me know where you're listening from so i am going live from champaign illinois so in champaign you can think cows and cornfields so okay here we go reason number one why your thoughts are so hard to control is because they're coming from your subconscious mind so your subconscious think about it like this like a library your subconscious is storing up every experience everything that you've ever witnessed everything that's ever happened to you is in this library system that is your subconscious mind and so that is very difficult difficult to control like when you think about when you're having a dream, dreams are produced from your subconscious. And unless you're somehow lucid in these dreams, they can be really difficult to control what's going on. So, hey, you know, if you have if you have that same experience where you feel like your thoughts are thinking you and you're not really thinking them, you know, send me the like button. Let me know that um, you can resonate with what I just said. So when, when your thoughts are coming from your subconscious, you know, these experiences are really built up, especially in your childhood from the years of, um, of birth to seven. These are when we are finding like all of the things that we're exposed to in childhood, whether they're negative experiences, whether they're positive experiences. Sometimes I'll say like, what was the vibe of your tribe? Meaning like, what environment were you in? What kind of environment were you in in your house, in your community? in your school, your education, in your neighborhoods, you know, all of these things are contributing to what is built up into your subconscious now. All of your, like, especially your tragedies in life, that's one of the reasons why I'm a, a lot of times talking about, like, the stories you tell yourself about yourself will become your identity. So it's so important that we learn how to tell the stories of our triumphs more so than our tragedies. All right, so the second place, number two, the second place that your thoughts come from that make them difficult to control is they come from the chemical recipe that is in your body. Now, what I'm talking about is your nervous system. So we live in an age and a time where we have notifications going off all day, every day. We have constant stimulation coming into our world, and we don't have a lot of ways to block that out. Well, what happens is we're, we're creating stress chemicals every time our nervous systems are getting triggered. And so whenever we get overly triggered, we can get in a bad mood. And when we're in a bad mood, we're just going to be bombarded with negative inner inner self-talk that's negative. Maybe we're behaving grouchy towards other people. You know, maybe we snapped on somebody and we didn't really mean to. But this is coming from a place, like not intentionally, but it's coming from a place where we need to understand how important it is to keep this vessel clean. And when I'm talking clean, I'm talking about 
what are you putting in your body that is controlling the hormone, the, like the hormonal chemical recipe that's happening? So if you're starting to feel stressed out, the result of that is going to be like you have a ton of adrenaline and cortisol pumping through your body. And so one of the reasons why spiritual teachers, especially when we're talking about law of attraction, will tell you that the most important thing is that you feel good. It's like, well, how can you make yourself feel good? good when you're stressed out? The answer to that is in learning a self-care routine. So whatever you can do that's going to increase the dopamine, the serotonin, and the good feeling endorphins, and then at the same time, like decrease the cortisol, the adrenaline, you know, the, the hormones that sort of like like make you frazzled. This is what I do. When I get triggered and like stressed out. I've had my moments, trust me. <laughs> and then the third reason that your thoughts are impossible to control is your daily circumstances. So what does this mean? Like, you know, it's like your daily things that happen to you that are stressed out. Right now for the kids, they're, they're taking finals. That's really stressful. The holiday season in general can be a stressful time. Um, buying a house, having a baby, getting married, taking a vacation, um, changing jobs, having deadlines. All of these are like daily stressors that are increasing those like nasty, nasty chemicals. And then you take that on top of the constant notifications going off that are triggering your nervous system and it builds up. It's like this toxic buildup inside of your body. And guess what? It's going to blow. And that's why your thoughts are so hard to control. So what do you do about it? What do you do about it? Well, the thing that I have found that you can control is your words. And the, the trick to manifesting the life, connecting yourself, the way to connect yourself to all of the things that you actually want to have happen, instead of flowing in the chaos of everything that you don't want, can literally be the difference between changing your words. Because guess what? When you get control of your words, when your words that are coming out of your mouth can be deliberate and you can pay attention to, are you using words of gratitude more so than using words of complaining. It's like your words are a boomerang that are going back out there, that are going out into the universe and fetching whatever it is you're talking about and bringing it back to you. Well, what will happen is your words will begin to reprogram what's in your subconscious. And then once you've reprogrammed that subconscious, guess what happens? Then your thoughts begin to change. So it is true, change your thoughts, change your, change your world. But what is important to know is how can you do that? So hey, if you've learned anything from this video today and you want to know more, check out the book Conscious Communications on Amazon.com. And I would like to invite all of you to get this free Conscious Communications Guidebook. You can get this on my website, maryshores.com. It is free. It is 36 pages of all of the coaching exercises that are inside the book. This thing is pretty detailed and it's free right now. So I encourage all of you to jump on and get this. One of the things that I love about this guidebook is all of the quotes that are in here. So here's the quote on the back cover. It says, submit to the greatness within and let that greatness tell you where to go and what to do next. All right. Bye for now. I'll see you all tomorrow and have a great, great evening. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.